How's it going, YouTube? Yes, I'm back. I'm finally back. I know it's been a minute. It's been too many days in a row where I haven't uploaded, and that is my bad. And I have a decent excuse because I was busy. I was busy. I had my cousin, aka Alice, was hood come up, and my girlfriend, aka Katarina. If you guys have been in our streams, you know who we are. And they all came up, and we hung out. We went over to a friend's house, Spaghetti Stain Sean's. If you hung out uh, with any of us, you know who he is. And we all did like a quad stream, uh, and it was a ton of fun. If you guys missed that, you missed out. All right. So make sure you guys hop on over to the Twitch because there's so much awesome crap going on over there. So anyway, moving on to the topic at hand, uh, the Nintendo Switch is has been announced. And I know it was a couple days ago, but I kind of want to give my two cents on it and talk about it because I haven't had a Nintendo system since uh, GameCube. GameCube was the last Nintendo, actually, it's the only Nintendo system I ever owned, but I did play, uh, uh, you know, Super Nintendo and Nintendo and stuff like that. So I wasn't, uh, and N64, so I wasn't like, you know, a complete Nintendo version up to that point. I had played uh, uh, Nintendo consoles plenty of times before in the past. Uh, because family members had them and stuff like that and I love GameCube all right GameCube was great But I didn't get the Wii and I didn't get the Wii U uh, Because mainly because third-party support there was hardly any third-party support especially for the Wii U But for the Wii it just couldn't hang dude. It wasn't good enough So you uh, games like Call of Duty that did come out on it looked absolutely horrible They played absolutely horrible the controller was convoluted for games like that uh, And I just it just did not feel right to me and I didn't like that and I wanted to play those games so I had to play on Xbox I had to play on, on PS4 or PlayStation I mean not PS4 at the time you know obviously uh but I couldn't you know Xbox was the thing back then you know because it had all the third party support as well as great first party titles whereas Nintendo had really good first party titles but that was pretty much it you know as far as good games because the games that did come out for it that were third party just they just weren't very good man the, the the console couldn't handle them they were super dumbed down graphically and just i just it, it was not entertaining to me so that's why i went with you know an xbox and that thus the reason why as far as hardcore gamers or hardcore console gamers the xbox and playstation are the kings uh but here's the thing with the nintendo switch it's interesting because they're making it both a home and mobile console so it has to be powerful enough to have first party titles play on it but the thing is the thing that they've been missing is third party titles and on top of that they already have the reigning king of mobile gaming the the 3ds like uh, honestly why would they make another mobile thing uh so that's really interesting myself unless it's powerful enough to power main AAA, you know console titles so so that's the interesting thought there is why would they do that when they already have the 3ds are they considering getting rid of the 3ds and making way for this thing that's just the all-around console that you want all the time everywhere to me honestly it's a great selling point a lot of people don't understand why they would do that but to me it's like you know that's a great idea like you could have all of your games on one console from Nintendo. You can have your Pokemon games. You can have your your, your whatever else another DS game because I haven't been following the DS games since I don't have one. Um, you can have everything right there at your hands, at home and on the go, as well as main AAA titles like Zelda and stuff like that. Now they showed games like Skyrim in the trailer. They showed the new Zelda, but they, I guess, apparently, according to Forbes, all right, not me, according to Forbes, they came out and said that you shouldn't take all of the information from that trailer as sound proof of third party support or anything like that it was just a four trailer to give you an example so basically they're not confirming uh, a skyrim for it what why would you put it in there then man come on guys now they do have a big list of people who have signed on to be nintendo partners such as activision ea from software bethesda uh bandai namco capcom you know all of the big head good dudes you know you got square enix you got ubisoft you got epic games you got the unity engine you know all the stuff that uh, the nintendo switch is going to support but is it going to be powerful enough because you can't find actual specs of this thing the only specs that we can find is that it's a modified nvidia gpu that's interesting nvidia has just come out with the pascal architecture it could be a new chip a new mobile chip that is just super freaking powerful or it could be a version of the actual like current ones because we do know like they fit in, they're starting to fit 1080s into actual laptops now like full on 1080s not mobile 1080s full on gtx 1080s are fitting in laptops now 
That is insane to me. So that is could be something else that they've stumbled upon and some crazy technology they got to make something very powerful fit into such a small package, especially something that's mobile. Uh, and now we do know that the screen is only 720p on the actual console, the mobile part of the console. That makes sense to me. That means there's going to be more power going to like the GPU, the CPU, and things to power your games so that graphically they can look good. But on a small screen like that, 720p is going to look just like 1080. It's going to be perfectly fine because it's on such a small screen. So to me, that's really good as well. Uh, but we still don't know like processing speed, like the clock of the processor. We don't know the amount. I don't think we know the amount of memory I, I could be mistaken there we might know the amount, me, amount of memory uh, we don't know what kind of GPU what kind of uh, how many processors it has what's like how much power does it kick out we don't know any of that about this console and that's my big turnoff because I really 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 want to be excited for this dude I want this console and I want it to be good I want but the problem is I want it to be what I want it to be it all depends on what Nintendo wants it to be do they want it to be something that's going to play Call of Duty at the at the highest setting you know uh, on par with Xbox and PS4 uh, or is it going to play Skyrim on the the level of the other consoles is it going to play the new mass effect at the the uh, level of the other consoles because if it can then obviously these games are going to support it. Why? Because that's more money for them. So that's my one question. Now the pricing, we still don't know full on pricing, but from what I read, what I could find around the internet, such as Forbes and other places, uh, their sources have told them that it's probably going to be around $299, which fits right in there. And I could see that being accurate, but that also kind of wor worries me because it could not be that powerful because we know the PS4 Pro is only going to be $399. And we know that thing is going to be pretty dang powerful. Uh, but here's the thing, I don't know, but that does put it right in line with the current PS4, which would mean it would be good enough to power these new games. We'll have to wait and see, but that's my one worry about this console, man, but I want it so bad. Like, I want this console, and I want it to be good. I want to be able to take these games everywhere, and I really want to dive into the new Zelda, and I want an excuse to do that by buying this console. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, obviously I have been away, but there will be a stream tonight and we're getting back on schedule here for a little bit. I just had, you know, kind of like a little bit of a vacation, I guess you could say. So we're going to get, be getting back on schedule tonight. We're continuing our alien isolation pre, uh, playthrough over on the Twitch for Halloween, doing some spooky stuff, man. Uh, and God dang dude, like alien. That game just freaks me out, dude. Like it, it really does. So if you guys want to see me get my poops like pants pooped i guess you could say then head on over to the twitch but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment down below don't forget to share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button if you have not and i will see you guys in the next video peace.